Hi, in this slide, I want to address a relative of the praise tightwad, and that is the nitpicker or the naysayer or the devil's advocate. Because a lot of these ideas that I'm talking about are, they're sort of new. It's not, you know, I, I didn't invent them. I just borrowed them from someplace else and tuned them, adapt them to a, to a, a distribution environment. So when we start to move down a new path where we've never done it before, it's easy to find faults with anything. Um, and uh, so what I've done here is put a few key guidelines. When somebody says, well, you know, not to, you know, be a nitpicker, but you could say, well, all right, look, it's easy to find faults with any idea or any fresh approach to something, but let's make a, a list of the pros and cons. Get my little pen going here. And that's a con. So we'll put it over here on the con chart. We'll put all the pros and cons. And then we have to weight them because they're not all, you know, five versus five. It, you know, one thing could be worth 100 and everything else is worth, you know, half a point. So it's an overwhelming yes or no kind of a situation. So let's, let's weigh them on a value difficulty uh, and then put them in the context of the kinetic chain plan. In other words, if we want to dominate a given niche of customers uh, and get bigger share of our five core customers and our gazelles and make the service value equation metrics so good we can unconditionally guarantee them, et cetera, then, you know, to, to, to make that happen, we're going to have to, you know, do new things. And uh, so if the kinetic chain, if we look at every element of it and it's, 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 it's there and it's internally consistent with one another and so forth, then the, the momentum, the strength of it will, will, will carry the day. Also, it's very hard for somebody who's very concrete to see the dynamic upside. It's very difficult for somebody with a fixed mindset to have a growing mindset and say, oh, well, what about bottom-up self-organizing creative energy that's going to come from everybody around here? That, that's, people don't see it. And so, the, you know, it's not that they're, 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 you know, being a disservice. They're just doing what they're wired to do. And it's easy to ask, well, what if uh, this worst case scenario happens? We have a fire on this underwater building. Shouldn't we have fire insurance on it? In other words, there are people who are just very conservative and they, they're, they're just always looking about trying to minimize downside, not really focusing on the upside and not focusing on the, the relationship of the two. In other words, if we can measurably, <clears throat> you know, get the downside risk to be very, very little, and the upside to be anywhere from you know good to fantastic, and the worst case is we're going to learn a ton of stuff that for which the tuitional expense of the downside is is not you know it's, it's peanuts. Let's try it. So at any rate, it's easy to do that uh, as opposed to and what they're sort of saying was look, give me a cookbook how to recipe solution. Give me a very detailed tailed map for getting from point A to point B. If there is a detailed map and we're copying what other competitors have already done we're not going to create any premium economics for anybody. You know, all we're really doing is trying to catch up and survive and not get put out of business. So that's about surviving as opposed to thriving. Um, and um, sometimes we can take the, 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 the nitpick and say, how can we turn that into a question that helps to push something called the wheel of learning, which we'll look at in a later slide. Um, and if we really said to the devil's advocate, well, look, if, if what you're trying to do is to kill this idea, then what is your alternative better idea? Because to just kill every idea that comes up is to say, I really just want to keep doing what we're doing, the status quo. And given that the world's changing and we have to change at least at the speed of our environment, ideally in anticipation of our environment and ideally with our best customer's needs, um, then we're dead. We, we, if, we, if we don't keep up with that change and on an anticipatory level. So my solution to the nitpicker problem is to say, look, anybody can criticize any of, the, any of these ideas if you want to, no problem. But we're going to do these guidelines that have just been through. And you also have to share a new positive idea also. In other words, you can't say, I want to just keep doing what we're doing. You have to have an alternative next best plan for how we're going to move forward innovate, create value for all stakeholders. And that tends to, you know, muzzle a lot of the nitpicking uh, or it turns them, it gets their creative juices going. So that's, uh, that's just a problem you're going to run into. It's, it's, it's background noise in a way. Um, and uh, that's a way of anticipating it. Thanks.